Hello and welcome to Indonesia Now from Metro TV in Jakarta. I'm Dalton Tanonaka. Selamat berjumpa. I'm Frida Litwina. Thank you for joining us for the week's top stories and people. And a special hello to our viewers in the United States. One of Indonesia's wildlife treasures is facing extinction. The number of Sumatran tigers is dwindling, so the government is proposing an unusual plan. Indonesia Now's Andini Effendi joins us with the details. Andini, is the government serious about an adopt a tiger plan? Apparently so, but wildlife experts aren't wild about the proposal. And it comes when more animals are being released back into their natural environment. These animals were captured by villagers in Aceh 18 months ago. Last Friday, they were released into the jungle in South Sumatra, joining the estimated four to 500 other Sumatran tigers left in Indonesia. They are in the critically endangered species list, victims of shrinking habitats and illegal hunting. But just the day before, the forestry ministry announced a plan that would allow private individuals to adopt Sumatran tigers, now in captivity for a $100,000 fee. The logic is that it would cut down on the illegal trade of tigers. Apakah nanti dengan, dengan me, me deposit sejumlah dana, bahwa orang itu sungguh-sungguh mencintai dan me, apa namanya, ingin memelihara, memiliki kemampuan, ya. Misalnya apakah berapa nilainya belum memang belum kita putuskan. The proposal is also an attempt to increase the population of tigers with one requirement being only pairs of tigers can be adopted. Other rules spell out minimum land area and cage size. The ministry says it already has interested parties. But animal activist groups aren't supportive of a take-home adoption plan. They say letting the public financially adopt tigers is fine, while letting the animals stay in their natural habitat. Konservasi dengan harimau dijadikan pet itu akan dianggap kontraproduktif oleh para pegiat konservasi harimau sedunia dan Indonesia tentu akan dapat tekanan.